It's synced anyway, isn't it? Take one, take one. Hi, I'm Brian from Take One, powered by Seven Wonder Cinema, and today we're gonna to be talking about motion graphics combined with 3D camera tracking. So motion graphics and 3D camera tracking are two very important post-production techniques that can bring your videos to the next level, especially in the corporate and commercial world. When you're working with brands and other companies, working with a lot of logos and a lot of graphics. But one way that you can make your motion graphics stand out is if you combine them with actual footage that you take by using 3D camera tracking. So 3D camera tracking is an effective way to incorporate titles into your work, but a lot of times where they're simply just dropped into your footage and just tracked in, it may look cool on the surface, but combining motion graphics and 3D camera tracking is a more immersive way that you can include these graphical elements into your shot. And it brings a lot more attention to your shot and to your graphics and the message that you're trying to convey. Of course, you can do a lot of motion graphics on a 2D plane, working from scratch, but using already shot footage is a great way to immerse these graphics into the environment of the subject that you're shooting about. Like if you're shooting about a company, if you have B-roll footage of the company or people working in the company and you integrate these motion graphics into those shots, you have the opportunity to add so much more value than just doing those motion graphics on their own or just shooting the footage on its own. The footage enhances the motion graphics and the motion graphics enhances the footage. Now when you're doing motion graphics, with 3D camera tracking, it's gonna be important to have the right type of footage that's gonna work effectively for your shot. Those types of footage are gonna be with a lot of consistent movement and elements within the shot that can kind of interact and kind of play with your motion graphics that you're working with. You wanna look for different elements in the scene where maybe a title or a graphic can appear from or go around or be eclipsed by. Typically when you're working with motion graphics, you're really working with just the two dimensions, X and Y. So you're really kind of constricted to a flat plane while well, solving a 3D camera for a shot can open up that Z space for you, add a lot of depth to your scene, and you can use that depth to your advantage in your motion graphics. So how do we go about properly setting up this effect? First of all, you're gonna to wanna to know what kind of motion graphics that you're going to be doing. So you might wanna do a certain draft or pull something together in the 2D space to see how they're going to form together and what graphics and titles you're gonna be using. Once you kind of have all your graphics together in a library or in a composition and you have your shot picked out, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and track that shot. One of the most effective trackers that's really improved over the years is just the regular 3D camera tracker within After Effects. You wanna use Mocha, there's a couple other programs out there that you can use, but for most instances with this kind of stuff, I like to keep myself within After Effects as much as I can. Once I have that track down, you're gonna to wanna to pick the tracking points that are about in the same area of which you envision that your motion graphics are going to appear within the shot. You're gonna want your data to be as accurate as it possibly can. Once you have all that data down, whether it's nulls or objects within your composition, you're gonna to wanna to look at your graphical assets and see how you're gonna to wanna to organize them within the screen. If certain animations are not moving in Z space, you're gonna to wanna to pre-comp that animation to its own composition. And what you can do, this is something I find really cool. You can go ahead and you can track that pre-comp into your camera track there. In doing so, you're gonna see your tire MoGraph animation there tracked into your scene without having to put any of those individual elements into the scene. On the other hand, it might be to your advantage to pull those individual assets into your scenes and animate them, whether it's on Z space or from different angles. What you're gonna wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have everything organized and you know exactly which data points you're gonna wanna use when you're putting those graphical elements in. From there, really the sky's the limit of what you can do. Another thing to consider, do you want it to look as if these graphics or these screens or these titles or stuff are actually appearing in the real space? You're gonna wanna make sure that you're considering what kind of shooting conditions that you're in and you're gonna to wanna to try to replicate that with the graphics that you have, which can be a little challenging at times. There are simple adjustments that you can make within Lumetri Color and other color adjustment tools in After Effects that you can do to kind of match your graphics to the contrast, white balance, and overall kind of lighting conditions that you shot. The thing I like most about using motion graphics with a 3D camera track shot is that there's a lot of room for experimentation. I love tinkering around. I love experimenting with different graphics and different styles, unlocking what can be done. That's the importance of really digging in deep to the program, going online, finding those cool tutorials and really trying them out and doing your own spin with them. It all comes down to what message you're trying to convey and how you can use these graphics and these titles and the shots that you're getting to effectively tell that message in the end. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope you guys are inspired to go out there and find different shots that you can incorporate motion graphics into and find different ways to incorporate motion graphics into the shots that you're getting. 
If you like videos like this and you want to learn more about post-production, motion graphics, visual effects, learn more about camera reviews, and learning about the day in and day out of a production company like ours, consider subscribing, follow us on our socials, comment down below what kind of videos you want to see. And if you're interested in seeing more of our work, check out sevenwonders.com. There's a lot of cool stuff that we have on there.